mesh baking video. Um, I'm trying out a new wide lens today. I don't know how I feel. It's definitely a lot easier for me to like incorporate everything in frame. I'm looking at the viewfinder and it looks alright, so we'll see how this goes. If you don't like it though, we can always go back to the normal normal lens. But you know what, for this video we're going to try something new. Since we're making a new cake, it all goes with the theme. Today we're going to be making a lemon drizzle cake. Uh, I found the recipe off Cupcake Gemma. I don't know where to look, whether I look at the camera or the viewfinder. I'm very confused. It's a lemon drizzle cake. I have never made it before. Amateur baking. That's what we're all about. Mr. Tony Toe is <laughs> watering his plants. Yeah, they're doing really well. <laughs> Do you want to show us your plant? New plant. <laughs> right. It's grown tenfold in the past two weeks, or I guess month, I guess you could say. All right, spots. See you later. Bye. So I've got all the ingredients lined up here. The first thing we've got is uh, self-raising flour, but because America doesn't have self-raising flour, I made it myself using one cup of normal um, all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, 225 grams of unsalted butter at room temperature, 225 grams of sugar, I used a bit of brown sugar as well because we had a bit left, it was annoying me that the packet was still there. So I used some of that. We have got four large eggs and we're going to use the zest and juice of two lemons which I will zest and juice while we bake everything. So. That is it. I've just preheated the oven to 170 degrees Celsius. I've also lined the pin, the pin, the pan, the little tin with butter. In here, I'm gonna cream the butter and sugar on medium speed for five minutes. Okay, and while this is just mixing away, I'm going to zest up two lemons. I might turn this off because it's kind of all buttered up so I don't want to butt it up too much. When you zest the lemons make sure you give them a good clean because you don't want the wax to kind of distort the flavor of the cake. Alrighty, I finished zesting up the lemons. Just want to get all the zest. Be all the fun. So before I put the zest in, I'm gonna put this back on on low, and then we're gonna add in one egg at a time, and then make sure it's kind of all incorporated before you add in the next egg. So we're gonna add in egg number one. But this time we're gonna try not um, crack any eggshells into the batter, unlike last time. That was a disaster. Third egg. There's a batter all stuck to the side, so I'm going to stop it really quickly and just scrape it down before I continue adding the rest of the eggs. Alright, let's put this back on. And then I'm just going to do what she did before she added the last egg in, she actually added in her lemon zest. So I'm going to do that too. Oh, zester. And according to Gemma, it's fine if it kind of curdles up a little bit, which is great because mine's curdling. <laughs> Add in the last egg. I'll just let it mix up a little bit more before we put in the final ingredient, which is homemade self-raising flour. <laughs> that looks pretty good to me. I'm just gonna empty this paddle off. This is what the batter looks like. I got my sift, and we're gonna sift in the flour. Ooh, satisfying. <laughs> this is like a really su super simple, easy cake, so I do hope that I can get it somewhat right on the first try. Um, that's what one can hope for. And then what we do now is we gently fold mixture together 
The reason why I think she said you don't want to beat it all because you've just created a lot of air inside the batter with um, the egg yolks and everything, so you don't really want to beat that all out. Oh, I can't do this with my hair down. Heavy duty work. Alrighty, so I've just folded up all my batter. Full disclaimer, I have a feeling that my butter was not 100% of room temperature, so there are globs in it. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of blobs of butter, so I'm just gonna, fingers crossed this is gonna work. We're just gonna see how this goes. Um, but we're gonna line, I've already buttered up my pan, so it's gonna line it up with a baking pan. And now we're gonna pour our batter into our pan. I'm just gonna use my spatula and even it out a little bit. It's a little bit thicker than I would have imagined it to be, but this is what it looks like. I'm now gonna put this in the oven for 55 minutes, but around the 40 to 45 minute mark, I'm probably already gonna put I'm gonna put a skewer in it just to see um, if it's fully cooked or not. Time to put this baby in the oven. My cake is now out of the oven. It looks very golden brown, which I'm happy with. However, it does smell slightly eggy. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I put too many eggs in there, but we have committed. It looks golden brown, so I'm gonna leave this to the side whilst I make the actual lemon drizzle. We have two, we need the lemon juice of two lemons and 100 grams of icing sugar, which I've got. So, I don't have a lemony fancy contraption, so I'm actually just gonna use a spoon and squeeze all the juice out. Lemons are really big, so I think I might actually just try uh, using one and a half first. All right, so I've got my lemon juice. Uh, yielded quite a little bit, quite a bit. Pour in the icing sugar. I'm using a matcha whisk um, to make sure I really incorporate all the icing sugar well. And then we're just gonna whisk, whisk it together. Uh, if it's too thick, then just add more lemon juice. And if it's too thin, then just keep on adding like icing sugar until it's kind of a thicky, thickened, syrupy kind of texture. The mixture is done. It's kind of, can you see how it's kind of thick, but still a little bit liquidy, if that makes sense. So now what we have to do is use a skewer and just poke holes everywhere. This is a lot of fun. All the holes are poked, as you can tell. So now I'm just gonna, I'll just use a spoon and then drizzle the lemon juice inside. Alrighty, now that the drizzle is all done, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So it looks much dewier. Um, I'm now just gonna let this cool for around 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, really let the juice kind of sink in, I think. And then we can cut it up and see what it looks like. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hello, we are back. The cake has now cooled down. So we're gonna put it on this nice wooden block. Blog? We're gonna put it on this nice wooden block and see how it turns out. It was greasy. Oh wow, that soaked through. It didn't quite have the rise that I would want. Can you see it? Uncool. It didn't rise as much as I wanted to. It's okay. It's okay. I'm using a steak knife, by the way, because our actual big knife isn't quite as sharp. So, so I think when I punched the holes, um, I shouldn't have gone all the way through. Because if you look on the actual paper, it like soaked. So I should have just gone halfway into the cake so it didn't go all the way through. But at least we know it's gonna be moist. 
Ooh, it looks super soft though, right? Hey babe, do you want to try one with me? Yes. This is, we're going to try this one. Would you like the first bite? Yes, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Look at that. Look this at channel that. is great. The other camera ran out of memory, so we're using this one. Let me uh, take another bite. Good, bad. This tart mm. is moist. I like it. I do think, you, what, do you, what do you really no, I th think? I, know, I think it's good. I wish the drizzle was a little more, like more like an icing, but that's just me. But it's pretty good. Highly recommend. Follow her channel. You know I said that when it came out it was too eggy. When you actually put the lemon drizzle in, it takes out the egg taste, which I'm really happy about. And you can kind of tell that it's actually pretty fluffy. But anyways, that is it for this baking video. If you do recreate this, don't forget to tag me. Uh, thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more. Um, and I'll see you in my next video.